everyone, I wanted to come on here and share a word that was given to Jeff Byerly of HolySpiritWind.net. He received this word from February 13th through February 20th, 2021, and it's titled, You Are the Carriers of My Presence. Once again, I will have you speak for me to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. The number is getting smaller and smaller as the separation goes on. Those who have put their trust in man and his evil plans for the future no longer seek me or hear me. Some of you have gone through fiery trials. Some of you are going through fiery trials. And some of you will go through fiery trials in the future. Know this. I have a purpose for these trials and tribulations, and that is to divide my sons and daughters from those who are sons and daughters of the enemy. I am separating the holy from the profane, those who live in and by my spirit, from those who live in and by the flesh, and those that love this world from those who look to the world that is to come, because it is their home. Without holiness, none of you will see me. You must come out of this world and separate yourselves unto me. There are many who are being sucked down by the vortex of evil that is the current world system. You must look to me, cry out to me, and stretch your hand forth so that I may snatch you out. This whirlpool of evil sin and wickedness will be beyond anything that has ever been before. It would be bad enough if this whirlpool was a, of water, but it is of excrement. It is like the manure pits of your modern-day farmers, where they store it up and then spread it upon their fields by projecting it up into the air. The enemy and all those who follow him try to touch everything with their filthy, wicked abominations. They want to change all of mankind into their image and erase mine. The fields are white. For harvest, but they are coating them with a the filth. The enemy imitates all that I do. I live inside of my own. They are changed by my Holy Spirit, and we are one. The enemy will try to accomplish this by pharmacia. This is the sorcery of modern medicine combined with advanced technology and controlled by fallen angels, along with AI, artificial intelligence. This is why I must send the former and latter rain in the same month. My spirit will be poured out upon all flesh, and this deluge will cleanse the harvesters and the harvest. My barn will be filled. Those who know me or will know me will accept this outpouring, but those who do not know me or will not know me will reject my spirit and shall spend eternity with their father in the lake of fire forever. This world has become unimaginable stench to me, but my people are like a sweet aroma to my nostrils. The true spiritual sacrifices of praise and worship offered up to me by my spiritual priests burn like sweet incense, and it fills my temple. This temple is not made by human hands, but it is alive. I am the chief living cornerstone, and my holy chosen priesthood are living stones that build my spiritual house. This is a temple of light, and it shines ever more brightly in the ever-increasing darkness. You were once a people who were the children of darkness and disobedience, but you repented before me, and I gave you mercy. You were born again and transformed into children of light and holiness by the Father of light. Now I say to you, spiritual Le Levites, give yourselves for service to me. Consecrate, purify, sanctify yourselves, and be holy as I am holy. Reject the plans of the enemy and his followers of a new, world, a new order and system upon this earth. Do not allow them to put their poison inside of you, for you cannot serve two masters. You will hate the one and love the other or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. All who are marked by the enemy will have no desire for me whatsoever. You must put all of your trust in me, and I will supply all of your physical and spiritual needs during the time at hand and what is to come. 
cry out to me in repentance, and my blood shall cleanse every spot, stain, blemish, smudge, and even smooth out every wrinkle, so that you are perfect and sinless before me. I do not ask for your self-righteousness, but the righteousness that only I can give you by my Spirit. You are the carriers of my presence. Just as the Israelites of old carried the Ark of the Covenant, you must make preparation for this and not take this lightly. To prepare, you must heed what I tell you and be holy as I am holy. In true spiritual worship and praise to your Lord and Savior, lay your life down before me and do my will. This is your highest calling and the only way that you will ever see, feel fulfilled and be fulfilled. I have more prepared for those that yield to me than they could ever ask, hope, desire, think, imagine, or even dream, because it has n never even entered into the heart of man. All that my Father and I have prepared and kept ready for those who love us. Behold, I am going to perform a work in your days that you would not believe even if, even if I told you. My chosen priesthood, you will be utterly astonished as I work through you. The way that the world has been, you will never be again. So do not look back, but look ahead and press on toward what I have planned. Turn your eyes from the plans of the enemy now, for I have shown you the evil that he is doing, he is going to do, but in no way compares to my plans. I will come in the power and anointing on my chosen ones like never before very soon then my transformed ones shall go out in all of the earth shining my light to help me seek and save all of my lost sheep then I will return with ten thousands of my saints and consume all of my enemies with the brightness of my glory it is written it shall be so but I warn you children do not think that you will escape tribulations but you will overcome them because I overcame them. It will be by my blood and the word of your testimony. You cannot love this earthly life that is temporary, but be ready for his life to be taken from you. For this life to be taken from you at any time. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will, be, will keep it for eternal life in my kingdom that has no end. I am. Jesus the Christ. Pharmakeia is the use of medicine, drugs, or spells. Um, it is uh, in Strong's Concordance, uh, Numbers 5331. There's more information on that at the bottom of this transcript. I'll leave the link to, this, to the... Um, to the transcript in the um, description box. There's also scripture references that go along with this message um, that will also be, they're all typed out at the bottom of this word. So you can read those out. Um, again, this link will be in the description box, so make sure you scroll to the bottom. You can um, look over that definition of pharmakeia and um, read all the scripture references. That's the end. I love you all, and I pray that you all have a blessed day.